Hi and welcome back to Waplow Unwrapped. Today in this lesson we're going to add a map to the top of the Edit University screen just to show where the university is located and we're going to do that using uh, Google Maps. Very straightforward procedure. We're going to first of all go into our container and insert before another container and within that container a row and a column. Now we're going over to the Google Maps section first thing you'll notice we've got to have an api key if anybody doesn't have an api key for the website i suggest to just google get google maps api key and that will uh, take them through the process it's very straightforward i'm just going to paste in a key that we already have now we can go ahead and set up the map so first of all we need to use dynamic markers because we're going to use this uh, same data source as we used for everything else so our data source is that query one we need to tell it the address now we don't actually have a full address so we're just going to build the address with uh, an expression so we've got the university name plus the street plus the city plus a postcode okay that's located where the university is but of course we also need to center the map um, so that we can see where it is so we're going to go to dynamic attributes google maps address i'm not actually going to build that full address this time i'll just center it on the postcode because certainly anybody in the uk knows how specific a postcode is and in truth most universities will have their own postcode or indeed a postcode for each building so there we select that we now see that we've got the university of aberdeen located on the map just to keep up tradition i'm going to add a little bit of animation here so let's go into dynamic attributes within the sorry container itself animation an end of animation and let's just make something simple let's make that hinge in okay we'll save that so what does that look like in our web browser let's just have a look we're in the web browser it hinges in it tops itself up there we can zoom in only thing we've got missing there is of course i didn't add any controls in so let's just go back to our google map let's add all the appropriate calls controls in throw the kitchen sink in at it as they say save that let's view it again now we can zoom in we can go into satellite view And of course we've got google street view and there is the magnificent courtyard within aberdeen university beautiful building and that's how easy it was three and a half minutes including demonstration that's the power of wapler thank you for coming to wapler and wrap and i'll see you in the next lesson